Hey everyone, it's me, Clay Kano, here for a for a for a new video. Which today's video, this is going to be a new movie update. This is today's video is going to be this is going to be a VHS and DVD update for January twenty fourth, two thousand twenty. And which um for this update, I got thirty two VHS tapes and four DVDs. And which of course, you've been reading re re my community tab. I said I got movies from eBay and Goodwill. Well, here they are. And which for the for the for the VHS tapes from Goodwill, um, I got 25 VHS tapes from Goodwill, which one's a clamshell and 24 are slip covers. I got four DVDs from Goodwill, and of course, um, last couple of weeks ago, I ordered I ordered a, my my first few things from eBay, which are VHS tapes. They are rare, which there's seven VHS tapes that I ordered from Amazon. I mean eBay that will be here some in this update. So yep. So yeah, I got a total of 32 VHS tapes and 4 DVDs to show, and which I will point out the ones which come from eBay, but for the rest, I won't say who they are, they come from Goodwill, so yep. So anyways, let's not waste any more time, let's start with the VHS tapes. And this first one is a big box tape, which I ordered from eBay, and this came on the ma in the mail from eBay um, yesterday, which is Thursday, and this one's extremely rare. Yep, my very first WCI home video VHS tape, which I do have another WCI video tape, which is the, the Prisoner of 2nd Avenue, which is a war home video VHS, but has the WCI logo at the beginning. This, one, this one's my very first actual WCI home video tape. And this was only $9 with free shipping, so I couldn't pass this one up. This is a 1980 VHS. It had like a thing on this lid, but I took it off because I don't know what's the point of that. It has this sticker here. And this tape does not have the WCI logo at the beginning. It just goes straight to the... FBI screens and then the Warner Brothers logo, then the first RS logo, but then the then the start of the movie. But my VHS of the second prisoner of Avenue has the WCI logo to begin. So yep. So yeah, very cool tape. Very lucky to get this one off eBay. And next clamshell is the one clamshell that I got from Goodwill. This one's a remake of the 1949 movie of the same name. This is the 1999 remake. Rest in peace, rest in peace, Bill Paxton. February 23rd, 1999. And last clamshell I got for this update is is another V just like is another eBay order, which this one I got in the mail on I think Tuesday. This one's a neon Mickey VHS. This is a former rental. July 29th, 1985, former one from the Video Movie Club, it's got tan lid, of course. Now it's gone with all of the slipcovers, which, so yeah. And like I said, I will point out which ones come from eBay, but for the rest, they come from Goodwill. This one was originally purchased for half price books for a dollar, but I got this at Goodwill. Rest in peace, Luke Perry. <sighs> 
November 23rd, 1997, even though this is originally a 1994 VHS, but it still has the, the same original tape master as the 94 VHS. Under the comedy genre. Has a printing underneath the end label. And I did check. I checked the opening of this tape yesterday. And the tape has the big W Warner Home Video logo. Instead of the Chi Shield logo. So this one's an early tape master inside a 1986 press in. Been, been looking for this movie for a while, so finally found a copy of it after all these years. May 12th, 1994. This is a TriStar Pictures movie. And rest in peace, Rugger Howard. He passed away last year, of course. Former round from... Parmar Video Inc. or Parmar Inc. whatever it is. The 40th week of 1990. This one's 180 minutes, so this is a three-hour movie. I'm surprised that this isn't a two-tape set. March 8th, 1994. And this next tape is one of the five slipcover tapes that I got in the mail from eBay, which this one came in the mail um, Thursday along with the main event and two other VHS tapes. And this one's a Cami screener VHS of Bapa, a 1993 Paramount movie. Yep, this is my very first a Cami screener VHS tape I have. Couldn't pass this one up. There's some of the little things about the movie, even though this movie didn't really get any Oscar nominations. At least I don't think. has printings under the end label the the 51st week of 1993 and this tape just has the paramount logo at, at the beginning of this tape so don't need so i'm not going to do the open into this tape because it has not because just has the movie on it but still a lucky find on ebay Had they had, there was a sticker on here originally it came from the Ohio Thrift, but I got this from Goodwill, and this one's a TV movie from Columbia Tristar Television. The twelfth, the twenty eighth week of two thousand four. Even though this is a 2003 VHS, and this is probably my first tape that has a weekend, uh, weekend year code on, on a sticker here. So, yeah, didn't notice till that. So, yeah, pretty interesting.
the 32nd week of 1993, and I just checked the opening of this tape, and believe it or not, this tape actually has the TriStar Pictures logo at the beginning, the one from 1984, because TriStar Pictures originally released this movie, so yeah, very surprised the that this tape has the TriStar logo at the beginning, so yep. And next up is another VHS that I got in the mail from eBay, which this came in, in the mail on Saturday. And this one's a demo tape. And, and the rest of VHS tapes that I ordered from eBay on, on, I'm going to show, are all demo tapes. This one's a Universal demo tape from MC Universal Home Video. Has printed, so we all know what it has at the end. The thirty fourth week, the thirty fifth week of nineteen ninety four. Sorry about that. From previewed videos for ten dollars, but I got it for a quarter at Goodwill. This one's a sequel to Terms of Endearment, which I have on VHS. Now I got the Evening Star. This was a former rental. The fourteenth week of nineteen ninety-seven. This one's a Paramount Director Series VHS, which this is a really which there are only a few of these, which are I do I do know another one, which is Star Trek IV and Paper Moon. There's also a Paramount Director Series VHS release of Paper Paper Moon, but the only but yeah they didn't really make most of these, which is a shame. This and this and this one's presented in widescreen. The sixth week of night time three. Even though the box says night time two. This is a Columbia Pictures movie. The 18th week of 2003. This is a TriStar Pictures movie. This is a recycled tape, has the has the fourth week of 2000, but says here the 18th week of Night Tie 8, even though this movie came out in Night Tie 9, so this one's definitely a recycled tape. So that's really interesting.
Former All from Video Center. The 50th week of Nighttime One. This one's my second Dimension videotape I have. The other one I have is Senseless. And this tape had shrink wrap on the box, but it was open from the bottom. August 24th, 2001. Next tape, next one comes, next tape comes from eBay. I got this in the mail yesterday, which is Thursday. This one's my first New Line Cinema demo tape I have. And this is also co-released by Columbia Tricer Home Video. October 19th, 1992. This is a Columbia Western Classics VHS. On the back here, it says this movie came out in 1993, but this movie is actually from 1965. I guess that's the year they renewed this movie. And this is a 1993 VHS. This is a Columbia movie. The 26th week of 1995. And next three are the three Naked Gun movies. Movies. Here's the first one from 1988, and all of these are former rentals. The 31st week of 1989. This one's from Nighttime 1. And this one had shrink wrap on the box, but it was open from the bottom. It says here some music has been changed for this home video version. This one's kind of hard to get out. This is a former rental from Cindy's Video and Bookstore, so I believe this was a former these were a former rental from that store. The 50th week of 1991. And here's the third and final movie from 1994. This one's a this one's from Foro from Cindy Video and Games. I believe it might be the same store, but with a different name. The thirty four, the thirty six week of night time four. And next say and next one's another VHS that I got in the mail from eBay, which, which this one came in the mail yesterday, which is Thursday, along with the Live Wire and Main Event and um, Bapa VHS. And this one's another Screener VHS. This one's my first RC Clean Pictures Home Video Screener VHS I have, or demo tape. I used to have this movie back in the day, but the box was not in the greatest condition, so I got rid of it. Now I got another copy, which is the demo tape. This one's a Columbia Pictures movie. 
the label was about to come off, so I taped it back on. And it says here, February 25th, nighttime 1. So I believe that might be a print day or something. March 1st, Nighttime 6. This is a Screen Gems movie. The 22nd week of 2001, it's a former for some unknown video store. And here's the last speed test tape that I got in the mail from eBay for this update. And this isn't all of them because I do have, um, I do have another, do have some more items coming in the mail from eBay soon, which will be probably later this week. But here's the last one I got in the mail for eBay this, for this update. And this one's a Columbia TriStar Sneak Peek, Sneak Peek VHS screener, which... Yeah, which I could not pass this one up. Got a shiny slipcover case. As you can see, this one has this side has the Columbia logo. The back has the TriStar logo. And this is for the movie The Spanish Prisoner, which is a 1998 Sony Pictures Classics movie with Steve Martin. So yeah. Could not pass this one up. And I'm definitely going to do the opening of this tape because it's really rare. So, yep. Yeah, very glad to get this tape on eBay. Has the CBS Fox Field label from 1990, and it's printed off the 18th week of 1998, even though originally a 1991 VHS, but this tape still has the Fox Video logo at the beginning instead of the CBS Fox Video logo. So yeah. Four miles from an unknown video store. The, the fourth week of 1996. I'm not so sure if I'm going to do the opening of this tape because it has the soundtrack promo and it has copyright music. So I'm probably not going to do the opening of this tape. And next home, and this next tape is a demo tape that I found from Goodwill last night. And this one's a Merrimax demo tape. July 16th, 1999. Got two more tapes left. 20th Century Fox Selections VHS. This movie I've been wanting to, this movie I've been wanting to look for for a while now. I finally have it. The 42nd day of Night Tie 7, and print off the 10th week of Night Tie 7. 
And here's the last speed test for this update. This is an MGM Silver Top tape. Don't think there's a print deal on this tape. That's it for all the VHS tapes. Now let's go on to the four DVDs, which I got these from Goodwill, as you all know. This first DVD was sealed when I bought it, but I opened it up. And this DVD originally came from Big Lots for three bucks, but got it at Goodwill for two bucks. And this this is a 1946 movie from from the rank organization, but this DVD is from MGM and co and co released by Sony Pictures Home Entertainment. And it also has the Grand uh, International logo on it. And this next movie is a movie I had on VHS, but side upgrade to DVD. Originally purchased from Best Buy for $15, but got it at Goodwill for 2 bucks. Now I'm going to show you the advertisements or DVD guy cuz I just want to get this video done. Just leave it like that. This next DVD is another movie I had on VHS, but side so get get on DVD. Comes this DVD ad which came up with my DVD of 15 minutes, which is from New Line Cinema. Has this flap thing, which this is my first DVD, my first snapper case that has this flap thing on it, which I really like. I think it's really cool. And here's the last DVD for this update, which is the sequel. This is my this is my second New Light Cinema Infinifilm DVD. The other one I have is 15 minutes. Comes in a really cool red case. Don't feel like showing the ads or stuff. So yeah. They didn't have Rush Hour 3, which I'm not too sure about Rush Hour 3. Maybe I'll give it a shot, but I don't know. And that's it for my VHS and DVD update for January 24th, 2020. Hope you like this video and see you later for new videos coming soon.